Do you want to spend more money on FIFA 14 Ultimate Team? Sounds good. Definitely. Well, open a new tab, move to the search bar, then slightly to the right, close the browser and go outside. You've got to be kidding me! So, 20k subscribers so quick, 100,000 subscribers, yeah, 200,000 subscribers. Moving swiftly on to the first question. Why is this only a 200,000 subscriber Q&A? You should have a million sub <laughs> Stop it, you're making me blush. Can what do you think of Tottenham? Sh the Fortress or the Emirates? Come on. Why did I wear my good shoes to the fortress? Never a good idea. I mean, look, you're not going to find a surface like this anywhere else in the world, really. Like, literally, there are probably planes in the Sahara Desert with greater grass percentage cover than this. It's awful. What's Hello, guys, it's Chris here, and welcome back to the 22nd episode of Neymar's Road to the World Cup. Whew. So, here we are, the last ever episode of Neymar's Road to the World Cup in FIFA 14. Wow, this, this suddenly got very emotional. Probably not for you, like, you're probably sitting there like, finally, thank f Oh, he's on. He must be on. I swear he's on. I'm sorry, I just have to. <laughs> oh, nah. That could have been better, but, um... Sorry, can I just apologise for the most anticlimactic goal reaction ever? I mean, that goal means we can buy the best player in the game. It's like Arsenal actually winning the Premier League, and me being like... I mean, we won, but... We didn't go unbeaten this time, so <laughs> does it really count? Oh my god. A certain someone who you guys might find pretty interesting. <laughs> We have now just got Pele up front, the rarest player in the game. We've now got Romario and Pele. I never thought I was ever going to even be able to get my hands on those two players. <laughs> no! How have we missed? Yes, there's the goal. That means I have to leave me being a bit squeaky into the actual video. But um, yeah, what a lovely goal to end the series on. You know, hit that. Oh my god. This guy, he is the best player I have ever used in any FIFA. Tell you what, if you have a spare 15 million coins lying around, just, you know, under a squeaky floorboard or something, go and buy this guy. Go and buy him. He is so much fun to play with. Come on, Pele, let's get another good goal. Chip him. And again, volley. This guy, this guy needs to stop. Is that it? I think that's it. There goes the final whistle. And the final whistle for the Neymar's Road to the World Cup series. Oh, I feel like crying. That's it. Oh. That's the last game in the series. 22 episodes of this now. How you guys have stuck by me this long, I don't know. I would have got bored of me by this time. Nice video, Chris. I love this series. Great video again. Upload more already. Um, okay. Upload Neymar or I'm unsubscribing. <laughs> Neymar. What? what? Name Neymar. Where's it gone? Neymar. Why do you hate us, Chris? Where is it, Chris? Where is it gone? Back Neymar? Neymar. No, it's over, okay? Just stop it. Stop it. And go outside. And I'll join you. <laughs> like, that's gonna happen. What's the most annoying thing about FIFA? Is there anything that's annoying? I'm... I don't know. I can't quite recall anything I can't think of anything oh yeah yeah there is I'd be more used at five foot six than the pathetic excuses for goalkeepers in this game <clears throat> so I think we all know why we're here today with FIFA 15 just around the corner our servers might not be able to supply the needs of the FIFA community for the first time can I just ask if you're sure? Because since we invested all that money in these back in FIFA, what, 12, 
$13.99. Whatever. Well, since then we've had very little or no complaints. Well, that's factually incorrect. Sorry, I can't quite hear you over the revving of my Lamborghini. Well, anyway, we need a solution. So, how are we going to meet the demands of the FIFA community? Simple as it is, we could just use some of our back pocket cash to completely fix the server. Coin sellers, I'm listening. We blame them for our servers being sh shout. Well, that's it then. We're sorted. Look, the problem with that is that such a huge portion of the YouTube community rely on coin sponsors that a massive portion of our fan base would be destroyed. The sensible option would be to leave things how they are and put some more money into the servers. Simple as it is, you know I'm right. Sorry. I can't hear you over the revving of my new Lamborghini. Why do I still work here? Blame coin sellers it is. You can't just keep avoiding this, you know. At some point, we're gonna have to put some money into our servers. <laughs> 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 no. <laughs> no. What is this place? Yeah, you're that guy who was on BBC One for getting excited playing with yourself in your bedroom, shouting, it's messy. But as you might know, I'm not a great fan of the uh, international break, the football international break. And I thought, why not try and kill two birds with one stone, you know, and use hashtag ban the international breaks if we get a bit of recognition for that as well. Didn't get it trending, but um, nevertheless, it was great banter. God, that was awful. So I hope you guys are appreciating how committed I am right now. It is so cold out here. Um, I'm wearing a Bath shirt, sort of hoping the whole Neymar's Road to World Cup thing is going to brush off on my skills. Also, you're going to have to excuse me for the slightly poorer skills than usual. I um, I pulled my groin this week, so um, no, by playing football, actually. How old are you? Let's do this. <laughs> Get the camera. Oh, oh, oh. Clinical from six yards. That missed, didn't it? Best montage ever. What happens when an Arsenal fan wins the Champions League? He turns off the... Get out. Unique. What was your first Arsenal game and when? So the first time I ever saw Arsenal play was uh, in the Emirates Cup, probably about seven, six or seven years ago now. And I know what you're thinking, like Emirates Cup, well that doesn't really count. But, let me ask you something. How many of you have seen our Lord score a goal live? Th that's what I thought. Nicholas Bentner did actually get on the score sheet in a 2-1 win against PSG, so you be the judge. Slap